Aloha, everybody. Tuesday was a very good stock market session overall for the market. I really, really wish volume would have exploded higher today. But nonetheless, volume was heavier than the day before on the NASDAQ. And as you can see here on the New York Stock Exchange, also on the NYSE. So with higher volume across the board on both days, to me, this is a clear follow through day. And also due to the strength of individual leading can slim quality stocks and other stocks in my scans, our models are switching to a buy signal across the board. So the NASDAQ is under buy signal, Russell 2000, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, Dow Jones, you name it, it's under a buy signal. If we go back below the 50-day moving average, we'll go back to a neutral operational signal. Remember, even when we switch to an operational sell signal on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, I can't remember exactly when it was, so let's go look at that really quick. Whenever we switch back here on 128, we never in the next couple of days ever got below 60% invested. We never had more than 40% cash on hand the entire way because leading stocks held up. Now we know why. If we look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we can see it's above its 50-day moving average. It's switching by proxy with the rest of the markets. But if you look at TSV and MACD, we've got good confirmation in both of those internal oscillators that I like to follow. S&P 500, they're both clearly moving higher. NASDAQ, you can see the same thing, obviously, with TSV really turning up. And the Russell 2000, the same way. Let's get rid of volume really quick right here. But you can see that they're both turning up and uptrending nicely. The Russell 2000 also isn't hitting new highs. But with the NASDAQ and S&P 500 doing what they're doing, our models are switching to buy signals across the board. Now let's go ahead and look at the other oscillator, the MA, or excuse me, the stochastics. Walter's RSI is not shown. I need to add that in here. But you can see that stochastics are now racing higher on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Russell 2000. They all look good and none are overbought, so we have some room to go before you run into that proverbial choppy sloppy attempts at new highs that you get from overbought readings. Now getting to the market overall, there was only one partial sell on our end, SKX, which was actually a partial sell yesterday. 50% sell yesterday, another bad day today, we make it a 50% sell, but what you can do is on an end of day basis, I would put sell stops below 58.68 or below 58.82, and then that would get me out of most of it, and obviously when our long signal was back here, my final cut loss level would be the 5703 low a day of the signal date. So you can go ahead and get rid of either all of it with the breach below 5882 and 5868, considering there's so many nice stocks, or you can hold on for that last little bit to a breach of the low a day. But SKX was a partial sell, and the only full sell today, Sox S, my last remaining hedge, a quarter of that position was still on and still looked to be like it was might work, considering what happened to it on Monday. But we see today ultimate failure, heavy volume. So Sox S is out. It was taken out intraday by me with my sell stop was hit. But on an end of day basis, it is a full sell. So while that's all good and good, there's also some uh, stocks we need to put back on. MUSA, that recent sell from 2.5, I need to put that one back on as it's a perfect speculator scan qualifier, a pre-perfect speculator scan qualifier and a cancel them stock, so that needs to be put back on. Also, H&T is pre-perfect speculator scan, soon to be perfect speculator scan. I never produced it as a sell for anybody, but just to give you guys a heads up, I was partially taken out of some on 2-2. I need to add that back. And then also K-I-T-E. It's not, um, there was no major sell, but right here, I believe it was here on this day, I got taken out of some that I didn't want to get taken out of whenever it breached the 6075 low a day. And I now want to put that back on with the retake of the 50 day moving average on strong volume, even though it's lost its green bop. That's okay by me. And then some buy stops I might set depending on what we do with these new long signals I'm about to show you. I think I'm about 10% cash, but I'm not exactly sure, so I got to find out. But if I do have cash left on hand after my new long signals tonight and those ad backs, DAN is forming a handle to a nice deep and sloppy cut pattern. It's got a previous uptrend in 2012, 2013, so it's kind of half-assed in calling this a cup, but if we do call it a cup, it's deep, it's sloppy, but the handle is nice and tight. 
and following what it's done since the gap up. I don't remember if that's earnings or what. Nope, it was added to the S&P 400. Following its addition to S&P 400, held that support, rallied on further strong volume, and as it builds a handle, it's doing it on low volume. So I'm looking at a buy stop on that. Also, ALGT is a perfect speculator scan stock. With all the airlines looking like they want to move, SAVE I flagged and was considering as a possible new long position. But when I look at this arithmetic chart and I go out on it and I compare it to how it used to trade, I'm not interested. And so I am passing. But with that being said, the airlines are starting to look good. UAL is also coming up 50-day moving average. So ALGT, I'll be looking to set buy stops just above the recent highs on that one also. And then Amazon not sure if earnings are out or not, but I assume that this was because of earnings right here. It's starting to handle out, so I want to already put a buy stop just above the recent highs because not only is it handling out, but it's had max green bop for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Eight sessions, so it's had green, max green bought for eight sessions, and I tell you what, for a stock that trades as many shares as it does, with just how it always trades to get max green bought for such a long period of time, it's extremely rare. So I see this as a potential very bullish pattern in this extremely, extremely, extremely high quality big cap stock. So Amazon buy stops will also be set. That's if I have money, guys, and if I have to pick between Amazon, Dan. And ALGT, I probably am going to pick ALGT just because it's in the perfect speculator scan, and that's the best of the best stocks in the stock market. Out of 10,000 stocks, only 37 qualify. One's ALGT. That's why you pick that one. But getting to our new long positions, data. That is our one new long position tonight. Data was in the can slim scan. That's 2.5%. Data was also in the perfect speculator scan pre-perfect speculator scan, excuse me, so that's another 2.5%, 5%, and then it was also in my price volume BOP surge scan, BOP heavier the day before, volume well above 50-day moving average, and a big move in price, over 1%, it's all good, so data's in there, but because we're now under a buy signal, so new ads are 2.5%, I'm just going to add another extra 1% of the price volume scan. So 2.5% by being in can slim, 2.5% by being in pre perfect speculator, 5%, and an additional 1% of account capital because it's in price volume. So 6% position in data. Final cut loss levels act are obviously below today's lows at, or yesterday's lows, whichever one you want to use. And then also I got another ad signal in CBPO, and I feel like I've got a lot of CBPO. Getting, if I take this ad, if I do it, um, 1% from a can slim scan because it's can slim scan. 1% for being in the top perfect speculator scan. Once again, 37 stocks. This is one of them. And then another half percent for being in my price volume BOP surge scan. BOP surge higher than the day before and is green. Volume surge, price surge. So it's a 2.5% position. That'll get CBPO to right around, I, I don't know, 5, 7.5, 10%. I'm not exactly sure, but it's starting to become a big position for a thin stock. Remember, it only averages right around you know, 70,000 sh shares per day. So I want to be careful here. So after my new long, my final cut loss on this 2.5% ad is going to be this low a day, 27.62 or maybe 27.50. You know what? I might do 27.50. might do the day before. So 27.49 will be my final sell stop. So 6% in data, 2.5% CBPO, adding back MUSA, H&T, Kite, full sell, Sox S, partial sell, SKX. All right, let's see if this market wants to continue to follow through to today's awesome upside. We're back under a buy mode.